significantly smaller. Actually, it's more like the Mediterranean Sea. You know, only miniature. Actually, think of this side as North Africa, and that... Think of it as a gap. I think you're nuts. Just jump across. I think you're real nuts, man. Oh, come on, everybody does it. Like who? Me. Him. You jumped? Of course. Come on, you guys are pulling my chain. It's 12 feet, seven and three quarters inches. That's right, I measured it once with a string. Now the trick is to run really fast. No hesitation. First guy to do it was a kid. They called the rocket man. He was a track star or something. He ran fast as a rocket. At least that's what my dad says. After that, everybody started doing it. Why? Prove you're a man. Prove you belong. To prove you can do it. Forget it, man. Don't tell me you got to ask your dad. Twelve feet seven and three quarter inches, huh? Yeah. So how about it? You gonna do it or not? Where do you start from? All right. Well, this is about where I went from. You don't have to do this, you know. See you guys on the other side. Say, you okay? Does it look like I'm okay? Well, actually, it looks kind of like you're in distress. I, you, I think you got just a little bit too much air, you know? Next time you should thrust out your chest, pinwheel your Shut up! And... Man, we're gonna get killed. Why didn't you stop? Where exactly? Huh, in midair? On the drive out? You aren't supposed to do it. It's too far to jump. You know, I've always thought it was more than 12 feet, seven and three quarter inches, you know? It's more like an optical illusion. That's why I never did it. Wait a second, you never did this? Well, technically speaking, no. What about you, HK? No. Oh, great. So what am I, like, the only idiot ever to do this? Pretty much. Pretty much. Besides Rocket Man. Will you shut up with the Rocket Man, please? Well, legend has it. Shut up. I think it was Wind <laughs> All right, so how am I supposed to get out of here? All right, sh try going to your left. Ah, 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 ah. I can't make it. I can't make it. Hang on. We'll figure something out. We gotta go get help. We can't. It'll be dark in ten minutes. We'd never make it off the mountain. We'll have to wait till morning. Well, actually, at this relative altitude, it'll be so totally dark in five minutes. We'll be like cave face. Shut up! Shut up! You got it. <sighs> Come on, let's see you smile. Is Zane up yet? He's in the shower. Psh! What? Again with the shower? Cold shower? I don't want to know. Okay. I'm going in there right now. Here's what I'm going to say. Son. Hold it. Bad start. Okay. How about uh, Zane? Yeah, down through the ages, fathers and sons. Dave, this isn't Kids 101. Listen to what your dad said. Uh, whoever it was. 
Don't lecture him. Just tell him you made some mistakes and you love him. Hey. What, R.O.? Get in. Zane's in trouble. What? He's hanging by his fingertips off a dead man's leap. Dead man's what? Rose Ellen. H.K. Akers told huh? me. You know he's not a half bad kid. What, 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 what the hell are you talking about? Your what? Son! I need you. Let's go. Okay, how about this? You're stranded on a desert island, and there's only enough food for two people. And Kim Bassinger and Sharon Stone suddenly swim ashore. New. Like, they're stark naked, and there's no place for Stoney to hide an ice pick, so which one do you tell to take a hike? You. Zane! Zane! Dad! Dad, I'm down here! Zane! Hold on, son. We're gonna get you. Get the rope! Zane, can you... You make it the right. Uh, I can't. It's a dead end. Oh, stay, stay where you are. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm trying. I said the rope, not the hat. What the hell is he doing here anyway? The man's half goat, Dave. You wouldn't want to be on any kind of mountain expedition without him. Maybe full goat. You get the damn rope. Oh, oh, dad, dad, dad. Go around the dead end. You got to go all the way around. You got to reach around. And when you do, you'll see some initials. <sighs> Ran out of rope, Dave. You can talk. This story shall the good man teach his son. And Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world. You can talk. Well, it's important. That girl cracks me up. I see it! GLT! You're home free now. Now, just look for another handhold about two o'clock. The only person who ever made that jump was a rocket man. Gerald Leslie Town. At your service. Gerald, you cracked me up. Uh, get my kid off the ledge. Yeah. Come on, I'm right here. Hands, son. All right, all right. Okay, wait, wait, hold it. Let me get, let me get Percy. Hey, give me a hand. Two. Okay, ready? No, yeah. not yet. Uh, okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on, uh, come on. Uh, 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 Don't you ever do something like that again. I just got one thing to say to you, mister. I want you to listen and listen good. That was a hell of a jump. I love you. I don't want anything to come between us. Okay? Okay. So. And you! Yes, sir. You're welcome out at the Flying Tumbleweed anytime. And so is HK. Well, gee, thanks, Mr. Hart. That that's, you know, that's that's a real invitation, not just one of those polite adult things, right? Because you know it's really embarrassing when you show up uninvited and you know, shut up. up! You got it, Mr. Hart. <laughs> Get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> 